All right, so Sony might be cooking up something big for 2025. I'm talking about the rumored Sony a7R6, and if even half of these leaks are true, this camera is going to be a monster. Let's get into it. Word on the street is that Sony's planning to drop this thing late next year, with availability possibly spilling into early 2026. So yeah, it's still a bit of a wait, but the rumored specs, totally worth talking about. First up, the sensor. The a7R5 already gave us a crazy 61 megapixels, but the a7R6, it might jump all the way up to 80 megapixels, or even 100 megapixels. Uh, landscape shooters, product photographers, detail freaks, you're gonna love this. And yes, there's a lot of noise about 8K video, but not just, yeah, we technically have 8K, and I'm talking usable 8K. Maybe even 60 frames per second, and hopefully with less cropping and way better heat management. Plus, rumors say 4K 120p is coming too, and of course, 10-bit internal recording, that's pretty much guaranteed at this point. Now, you might be wondering, with all that resolution, you need stabilization, and Sony's been killing it with IBIS lately. The a7R5 had up to eight stops, which is already wild, but the 6 might take it even further. Think handheld shots that look like they were done on a gimbal. But here's where it gets spicy, the brains behind all this. Sony might upgrade the Bion's XR processor, or maybe go full beast mode with dual processors. More power is equal to smoother performance, faster shooting, better autofocus, cleaner video, and basically no waiting around for anything. Speaking of autofocus, this is where the AI kicks in. Uh, the a7R5 had a dedicated AI chip, but the 6? Rumor has it, Sony's going next-gen with crazy smart subject tracking. We're talking real-time autofocus for people, animals, birds, cars, you name it. You could probably sneeze mid-shot and still get a tack-sharp photo. As for the body, expect a flip-out multi-angle 3.2-inch touchscreen, which is great for video work or awkward angles. Shooting speeds around 12 FPS with the mechanical shutter and up to 15 FPS electronically. And yes, dual card slots supporting CF Express Type A and SD cards, just like you'd expect from a high end Sony. Now, here's the part people tend to overlook, but it's just as important cooling. Higher resolutions and long form 8K video mean more heat. And rumor has it Sony's possibly working on improved passive or even active cooling because nobody wants their camera to tap out mid recording. Ergonomics might also get some love. Sony's pretty good at listening to feedback, so don't be surprised if the grip gets more comfy, buttons feel a bit more responsive, and the weather ceiling gets even tighter. Subtle stuff, but it makes a big difference when you're out shooting all day. And finally, battery life. More resolution, more power-hungry features. It's a tough balancing act, but Sony could introduce a new, more efficient battery or some smart power-saving tricks to help. Plus, USB-C power delivery is almost a given at this point, uh, fast charging and even powering the camera while shooting, that's a must have these days. So yeah, everything's still in the rumor zone for now, but if this all comes together, the a7R6 might just be the dream camera a lot of people have been waiting for. That's all for now. Hit that sub button if you want to stay in the loop with more camera rumors and deep dives. Catch you in the next one. Peace!